Okay, so for our video uh, assignment, the family business that we are interviewing is Inland Plumbing and Heating and Jade Johnson Developments, and the owners of the company, the father, Hector Johnson, and the son, Troy Johnson. So first, when we look into the father, Hector, and his journey to become to owner and operator of Inland and Jade Johnson Developments, in October 11th in 1968, Hector started plumbing, to which he enrolled in NSCC in the apprenticeship program. After that, in 1973, Hector obtained his Red Seal and was the 313th person in Nova Scotia to be a certified plumber. In 1976, Hector injured his back, to which he was given the choice of either to get surgery with potentially being in a wheelchair or to give up plumbing. After that, Hector made the tough decision to become a truck driver, which he trucked around Canada and the U.S. for nine years. He came back to plumbing in 1985 after his back started to feel better, to which then he created Jade Johnson Plumbing, and he did service calls all around HRM and the surrounding areas. Okay, so now we will talk about the son, Troy Johnson. So out of high school, he attended University of Dalhousie in 1995, and then he, he took, a, took some years off from university and went and worked in the oil rigs out west. And he did that from 1997 to 98, and then he came back to university, and he graduated at Dalhousie in 1999. But while in university, uh, he, was, he was plumbing, and then he created J. Johnson Developments with his father, Hector, in 2000, and then eventually uh, got his red seal in plumbing in 2003. And then in 2004, they changed the, the name of Jade Johnson Plumbing to Inland Plumbing and Heating in 2004. How the family manages these challenges. So communication was key. As you have the developments and you have the plumbing, Crossing those two can get tricky, so staying organized and communicating to one another will help you stay in the green. Accountability, holding one another accountable for mistakes, um, issues that arise, and whatever. James has been held accountable before for some of the mistakes he's made as he is only young, still an apprentice plumber, coming up through the ranks, as well as I'm sure Troy made mistakes and Hector's called him out, and vice versa. Everyone makes mistakes, but holding one another accountable and forgiving one another is a huge part of it. Um, family meetings. Troy also emphasized the fact that they have family meetings, that they talk about just family stuff, nothing to do with the business, nothing to do with anything, and just really maintaining family. We had the privilege to sit down with Troy for an informal interview and ask him a series of questions we had thought about together on kind of what we wanted to achieve with the interview. And one of the questions we really had a burning desire to answer was like early age decisions. Like what kind of decisions did you make at an early age, like our age, you know, coming through university, tending to graduate soon, what kind of decisions did you make? He said, number one thing is be ambitious. Troy went to university and worked part time as a plumber. He was working, once he finally became a plumber and had the red social certificate, he said he worked nights and weekends, which not only helped develop knowledge, his knowledge within the trade, it helped them build a good reputable name as well as it helped with finances for their development company, J. H. Johnson Developments. This was almost the building block to what was, become, what was to become. So family business according to Pose's typology. The family business of Inland Plumbing to Heating became a family business when Troy joined Hector in 1999. The intent of the family business that of Inland Plumbing and Heating is to retain ownership. They want to keep the business in the family, like Hector passing it on to Troy, and Troy with plans to pass it on to James. Um, as they retain ownership, this family business is also not to provide for the family. Um, we think this is a family first business as we want to retain ownership in the family, and the family will be in powers of hierarchy. But we also think a little bit of joint optimization, optimization, sorry, on like on page 12 imposes typology. 
as Troy had to earn his stripes. He worked long hours, got a university degree, he made his own connections, just like Hector, and now just like they're training James to do. So now we will be talking about the claim that we have about this family business. Uh, so the claim that we have is keeping ownership within the family. And our proof of that is that uh, Troy wants uh, myself and my brother to take over the business. And he wants us to look after the, the business in the future. And he wants the business to look after me and my brother. One objection we have for our claim is, is the next successor fit? Is James and his brother fit to take on the role and run J. Johnson Developments as well as Inland Plumbing and Heating? And coming to the conclusion of that, you know, James and his brother Locke will have late entry as they have gotten a university degree, which will hopefully and should add a little bit more respect to them. Um, grooming as well, you know, James is in university and he's working part time for the plumbing company as well as Troy's getting his feet wet in the development side talking about certain things with him, getting his opinion on them, taking him to meetings, and etc. Um, but you know what, Troy and Hector both, they've, came, they've come from a spot of, in a situation of earning your spot. You know, Troy, he's worked hard, he's built his own connections. Same with Hector, you know, he's worked hard, he's had back problems, he had to go become a trucker. Like, they have interesting stories, and earning your spot is definitely a big thing with them. And one thing to do too as well when you're coming on to a family biz business in conclusion when you are a part of the family is no matter the business's financial situation is staying modest. You know, people take note of that. Um, kind of like what we talked about in class there with um, the guy coming in to the factory every day, walking to the factory with a smile on his face. Um, you know, and one day he was a little bit upset at something that had nothing to do with the family business. But staying modest because workers pick up on that stuff. And you know what? Your mood really does affect their mood and makes them think, will I have a job tomorrow? Okay, so now we'll talk about the key takeaways about Inland and Jade Johnson. Um, so the first one that Troy talked about was taking risks and taking risks while you're young. Because uh, later in life, you'll have wife and kids and you have mouths to feed. So... If you mess up later in life, uh, you won't be able to feed your children. Kind of just to play off what James said there, you know, if you have a wife and kids, it's a lot harder. You have a lot more financial commitments, whereas when you're young, you can kind of get away with making some financial mistakes. Um, and also he said work hard and work smart. You know, working hard, he said he worked very hard, which gave him the capital to be able to start doing this stuff. But then he said working smart, you know, getting your money involved, getting your money working for you and not against you. Not having it just sit in the bank account, but finding investments in real estate or investment portfolios and things of that nature to try and exceed your financials and continue the growth of your money. Thank you for listening. And thank you to Troy for the interview.